hello my name is Kaylee this is the tea house and today we are going to be making roast chicken for dinner so let's get started so here are the items that I have prepped so far um, I have two to three ribs of celery uh, I have two ginormous carrots and one massively large onion um, I have maybe 10 cloves of garlic 8 to 10 uh, one whole lemon that has been uh, chopped or um, halved, and then about two tablespoons of butter. We're also going to need our chicken. <laughs> uh, I have olive oil, salt, and pepper, and then some dried herbs. I have parsley, thyme, uh, a couple bay leaves, and some mushroom salt, but if you don't have mushroom salt, you can use garlic salt or just regular salt. So we have our whole chicken here. One of the first things we wanna do is pat it dry. on both sides after you get it out of the plastic. And then the next thing you need to do, once you have cut it dry, is to look inside and see, sometimes they leave uh, the giblets or the neck or something else. This chicken does not have that, so we are good to go there. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the skin and we're going to take our fingers and just loosen the skin. This is why I like to wear gloves because I can get up in there and get it nice and loose. We're going to do this on both sides. So this is the breast, the legs, the wings and then the thighs are back here. And if some of it rips, that's that's okay. But you want to get <clears throat> most of it loosened because we're going to take these couple tablespoons of butter and put it underneath the skin. So <clears throat> so we're just going to take a little bit of this butter and kind of warm it in our hands and get it under the skin. Tell me below in the comments, have you ever made a whole chicken? I grew up eating primarily chicken breast. That's what my mom liked the most. Um, my husband grew up when he ate chicken. It was mostly chicken thighs. Um, and so we definitely have our preferences, mostly because of what we grew up with, but we now have been purchasing whole chickens just from a cost standpoint. Um, it's a lot cheaper to buy a whole chicken um, and cook it up ourselves. What do you prefer? And then a little bit of the butter. I just have maybe half of a tablespoon. I'm just going to stuff inside of the chicken. So now I'm going to remove one of my gloves and set that off to the side and get my spices. So the first one so I'm going to take some salt and very generously salt this bird everywhere uh, and that includes inside. Okay. And we're going to do 
did the same with the time. Just kind of pat it on. And inside. And now I'm going to hold off on the pepper because I do have a pepper grinder and I have to do that myself. I'm going to start stuffing the bird with as many vegetables that I've cut up as fit. So not all of these are going to fit. I understand that. But we want to stuff it with as much as we possibly can and leaving at the end for one of the lemons. So I'm going to squeeze the lemon into that cavity and there we go. The rest of these vegetables are going to be on the bottom. We're going to take our chicken we're going to squeeze this lemon over the top and then also kind of push that into there. We now have our chicken almost ready. We are going to grind some pepper over the top pretty generously. We're going to take some of our parsley. And put that over the top. A little bit of mushroom salt just for that umami flavor. I'm going to put a couple bay leaves in the bottom. And top dress with olive oil. That looks amazing. Now, a couple things that we need to do. We need to tuck in these wing tips so that they don't burn. So, we take our chicken and just kind of turn, whoop, uh, turn the wings in on themselves. There we go. And we need to uh, add a little bit of water to the pan so it doesn't burn. All right, so I'm just going to add about a cup of water in the bottom there. And we are going to put the lid on. All right, this is going to cook in a 425 degree oven for about an hour, and then we'll come back, take the lid off, and we will look at it and finish cooking. So this chicken has come out of the oven. We are going to do a temperature check. I'm going to look in the, uh, get the thick part of the breast. So we're looking at 140 right there. Looks like 145 right there. And then I am going to check just kind of back here as well. So that's looking at about 180, 180. We're going to put this back into the oven and then uh, we are going to carve it once we get up to 165. Uh, and this time I'm going to be leaving the lid off. All right, our roasted chicken is out of the oven. We're going to do another temperature check. Oh yeah. No, 
We are good to go. We are going to take this over to the cutting board and get this cut up for dinner. All right, so we have this gorgeous chicken here. And we are going to uh, start to quarter it. So here is where the leg joint um, gets. Uh, oh, do you hear that skin? Uh, so the leg joint on each side, we want to take the leg off right here. So I'm going to spin it around and take a knife and just cut in kind of at an angle. And then you just kind of bend it at that joint and cut. So there's a leg and a thigh. You're running with dad. That wing just came off. We're gonna come over here and do the same thing. Oh goodness, that wing also just came right off. And another leg corner. Just kind of wanna figure out where that joint is and cut it there and then the breast so I did remove the majority of stuff from the inside and the breastbone lies right in the middle here so I'm going to cut down on one side of that breastbone and then cut down on the other side. And again, we're just gonna kinda fold this with our uh, tongs cause it's just, it's so hot. And get this kind of opened and then cut along this bone here you would do a turkey the same way as a chicken it's gonna be a larger uh, breast on the turkey obviously larger uh, everything on a turkey <laughs> onions back in the pot. All right, and now we're going to go on the other side. So I'm going to hold the breastbone with the tongs to kind of get a good grip and then just slice all the way down. And just <clears throat> try to pull it away from the bone a little bit. and then slice up. And if this side would cooperate with me, Now there is still some meat on this. We'll be picking that off later. But right now I'm just going to put it back in the pot. Our roast chicken dinner is complete. We have these three items left over. Uh, so the bowl on the left uh, is all of the remaining vegetables, the lemon peel, and all of the bones, and uh, everything that's left over. That is going to be put into a giant stock pot uh, in uh, probably about a week to make chicken broth. Uh, the middle is just over a cup of the chicken stock that was in the bottom of the pot when we were all complete. And the um, 
other container is four cups of shredded white meat chicken. We save the breast uh, and we tend to eat the, uh, the dark meat um, when it is fresh. We also have some rice up there um, that we had with dinner tonight. So that is what we have. We have made an entire meal um, and probably two additional meals out of this because we'll probably make soup or something like that from the stock. Uh, and then we um, will be using the chicken uh, as well in a separate meal. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this whole roasted chicken recipe. I make this on a pretty regular basis because it is incredibly versatile. I can use it just like a rotisserie chicken that I get from the store, except that I find it to be a lot more flavorful and I can control the ingredients that go into it. I uh, on a regular basis, we'll take all of the meat off of the bones and freeze the meat individually so that we can just have cooked chicken at a moment's notice directly from the freezer. Another thing that I will be doing is taking the bones and any liquid as well as all of those vegetables that have cooked down and added a ton of flavor uh, and making bone broth. So if you are wanting to see that recipe, I will be making that sometime soon. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day and until next time.